single coverage a big to go to work down low. Coach, would you take Cromer out with a minute to play in this half, protecting him with two fouls? Now, <laughs> Final minute 20. And East Tennessee State down 14. Cromer drives. <laughs> Sixth overall, four years at Louisiana Tech. A Florida member, he played at Ole Miss. Perfect. Cromer lines up a three. For Cromer. Maybe a force there. The whole possession was a force. Cromer all the way. Way. Bradford has been a big part of this 9 0 run. His 100th three of the year, a UNCG record. Cromer barreling. They're not going to do a whole lot outside the three-point line. It's almost like that pack line that Tony Bennett plays at Virginia. They're going to force you to beat him from the outside. Cromer. Back cut that time. Baldwin was racing out to him with a sense of purpose and energy. Should have blown right by him with a back cut. Cromer sizing up Smith to glass for two. Him as any player he's ever coached, but he responds to the tough love. And Forbes said, I have a similar story to most of the players on this roster. It's all about perseverance inside. Nice look. level in the country and Cromer with a nice job to come up with a story. Red. Red. Merriweather with the seven foot one Fischler defending the inbound gets it to Cromer. Cromer all the way to the higher Mercer team comes back. Yet another reason he'd like to continue to play on their way into postseason. Cromer drives inside and He feels a part of what's happening offensively. East Tennessee State making its first NCAA tournament appearance since 2010. Lost to Kentucky that year, 100 to 71. You end with 13 on the shot clock. 
Mascara Pereira shot did not hit any rim. Cromer, the big forward. You've got to make your free throws in tournament play. Sanford trying to hold the court until they get it going offensively. They're a team that can score. They average about 80 points a game. ETSU comes in, averaging just over 80 as Nice grab right there. Shot clock didn't reset. Here's Cromer. Rotations defensively for the Buccaneers in the second half. Consistently rotating over and erasing opportunities at the iron. Five minutes to go in the SoCon final. Cromer. in UNCG, the Sanford Bulldogs, one of the teams that gotten two wins and well, the only team that's won two games in the tournament so far. And one of the upsets. <laughs> What you just said, part of the reason Cromer has only one shot taken. Here's Cromer. Jermaine Long is in for East Tennessee State. Another Juco transfer. Shot clock winding down. Cromer to the rim. Don't think ETSU doesn't know that they've been in a dogfight, no pun intended, against the Sanford Bulldogs in both affairs. Now, that may work to their advantage where they're laser focused. And Too much damage that could be a storyline if that happens in the second half with the way the terriers shoot look at the feed to long and jermaine long.
Still plenty of time left, especially if ETSU can get a quick bucket. Cromer on McGee. No whistle. Cromer fires. So close and think they could have won both games. Two-point loss in regulation, then an overtime loss. And that one's going to go for...